and this is our inaugural concert. Concerts are not the natural home for sacred music, but a venue like this allows us to explore and put different pieces together that we normally would not in a liturgical setting. Tonight's compositions all have some direct or indirect connection to our musical tradition at St. Meinrad. Whether they are unique versions reconstructed from our manuscript collection, medieval chants and the vernacular that anticipated the English that we sing today, or original compositions by monks of our own house, the program touches on the long history of sacred music from the particular perspective of this abbey in St. Meinrad. This is a program unique to us. The new chapter we begin tonight is a short part of a very, very long story, already well in progress. The story the concert tonight tells is not a linear one, with the beginning, middle, or end. Instead, the pieces you will hear are more akin to a musical exhibition that allows us to wander around, explore, and compare how the same God has been praised across distant times and places. You'll notice in the program notes that the program is organized in clusters of related pieces that follow the liturgical year. You can find text and translations uh, along with brief explanations in your program notes. We begin tonight with the chant that ushers in the new liturgical year, the entrance antiphon, so called the intro, for the first Sunday of Advent. You will hear the Latin setting by the, uh, in the edition by the monks of Solem, followed by R. Columba Kelly's English adaptation of the same chant. Because good sacred music is music that points beyond itself to something greater, please hold your applause to the very end. Enjoy and God bless. Ate Levavi, Make me know 
thirst and hungers and despair by the virgin
and the commitment that generations after generations after generations have made to sacred music and the liturgy. Vene Sancte Spiritus is taken from the rite of solemn profession at Einsiedeln in the late 19th century, from a book also in the Arch Abbey Library collection. It was quite likely sung at the professions of our early founders, brought monastic life from Switzerland to this tiny hill in southern Indiana almost 170 years ago. Our monastic heritage stretches back through Einsiedeln over a thousand years. May it go on a thousand more.
Hail, bright star of the ocean, God's own gracious
In
Thank you. 
you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here. My name is Brother Joel. I'm a monk of St. Reinhard Arch Abbey. I serve as the assistant choir master and as Brother John's assistant in our new Institute for Sacred Music. This evening's concert, I think, is providential. It came about thanks to Providence. I'll tell you how. The summer before last, I was finishing my master's, my master's degree in chant studies at the University of Limerick in Ireland this July. And at my final rehearsal, there was a young American student there visiting, an alumna of my same program from a few years earlier. She was visiting Ireland and the university that day it just happened to be my final recital. Turns out she was finishing her DMA in historical performance at Case Western, and she was working as the Catholic music minister. And uh, now she's right there at the end of the choir. <laughs> so that's Rosemary, by the way. Thanks to God's providence, we've been blessed to begin a fruitful collaboration and friendship. And so, in thanks to God and in honor of the old sod, we thought we'd have an encore. A traditional Irish sacred song called Antashari. But, Rosemary and I, we've been singing our hearts out. We're tired, and so we'd like to invite all of you to help us sing this song. And so Rosemary will teach you a simple refrain, and then we'll all join in singing together. Yeah. Yes. So um, I'm so delighted to be here, and um, the biggest thing that I've learned in my studies of chant all over the world is that Chant is for everybody, and there are so many different kinds of chant and ritual song. And so this was um, one of the, the types of ritual song that we learned in the vernacular in Ireland. Um, and it is a song that's about uh, the resurrection. Antasheri means the resurrection. And um, so we should sing with the joy um, of that in mind. And so the, the text that we're going to sing is um, the way the Irish say Alleluia, which is... Alleluia, Alleluia, and so we'll say, Agus Alleluia, Agus Alleluia, Gus Alleluia, Gus Alleluia, 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 Gus O, Gus O, and we'll learn it phrase by phrase. So let me just get our pitch centered here. August and Lulu. first. Alleluia, Alleluia, Isso, or Gusso. Um, that's the Irish word for and, and uh, in different parts of the country they say it differently, so I tend to say is. So apologies if I do now. Gusso. Okay, so let's try the whole thing together. August Alleluia. 
Um, and every time that I, I go like this, we will um, jump in with our August Alleluia laws. So, um, in the Shannos tradition, um, the idea is that we are vessels of tradition, and you'll often see the singers singing with their eyes closed, they'll be sitting. The idea is to let the words flow forth from oneself and speak through you. Um, so we try to remove ourselves from that situation. So um, we will just kind of bask in this beautiful meditation on the resurrection together. August. Mati her ogling ni well up or none. Ach na shenigim when em shek we chains a hon fear in a heavy gor none. Cher in a we or yanoth on the dolling Yeah. 